What's up, gang? Hey, before you watch the video, let me say a quick thank you so much. The video I did on the cool strumming pattern right there had over 100,000 views the first, like, four or five days on TikTok. Thousands and thousands on Instagram, Facebook, that kind of thing. So thanks, thank you for watching that. I appreciate it. That's the first video I've had that really take off like that. So it's pretty cool. Thank y'all. Let's jump to the video. All right, guys, straight up. If this don't light your fire, your wood's wet. Here's a cool little walking in and out of the, the G, C, E minor, and D chords. You're gonna lock in the two bottom strings to stabilize that guitar. Play the top string open, two, three. When I say two and three, it's the fret you're pressing on the top strings. Open, two, three, and then do four down strums, then go three, two, open, four down strums that E minor again. So I'm keeping the bottom two locked, and I'm pressing the fifth and fourth together, all six. So that's the first part. Open, two, three. Open. Then you go to the fifth string, open, two, three. Now notice how like when I do this too, my middle finger's already set up for that next chord. I'm just putting that first finger down. So the G chord, I'm sliding it down there for this C or C add nine. I'm going open, two, three. Then you go three, two, open, D. Again, I'm keeping the bottom two locked, pressing the third string. Now I go to the fifth string, second fret, fifth string open, then top string. And you just circle all around until you get smooth with it like this. So a couple of things you can do to kind of switch it up, whatever, is as you're strumming the G chord, you can hammer on by taking that first finger on and off the fifth string. Same thing on that kind of open two on that fifth for that C add nine. And then another way to switch it up is go from the C to the D, three, two, then down to the fourth string, so. So again, this is a great exercise for beginners. When I first started learning guitar, somebody showed me this, and I used to practice this over and over, like 10, 15 minutes every single day, until I got smooth with it. Open, two, three. Now again, you don't wanna slide that kind of thing. You wanna make sure you're switching those fingers. Open, two, three. Got, got add that too. So another thing you can do if you're not you don't want to keep the bottom two strings locked, you go to a regular D. You just play that D and take your middle finger on off that bottom string. That's so why I did there, I accidentally went to an A, but you can do that too. So the A chord, I keep my ring finger on the second string and I press Instead of the E minor is the fifth and fourth, the A, I press the two middle strings, so you can go. Back and forth there. I would recommend going back and forth to G, C, uh, I mean the G to E minor to C to D. shot guys let me know if you want more lessons like this i'm usually just strumming away you know the basic chords 
But like I said, I hope I can be a blessing to te teach you a few little guitar tricks that I know that helped me, especially in the early stages. For more lessons, guys, for four chord songbooks, for prime country songbooks, strumming courses, beginner guitar courses, all that kind of stuff, please check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. All one word, countrysongteacher.com. Hope that can be a blessing to y'all. I'll see you tomorrow, every night, 7 p.m., a new lesson. Thank you for tuning in.